Hey folks, Dana here with StimulatedBoredom.com. Now many of you guys have checked out the four-part video review and tutorial that I had done on the brand new Amazon Kindle Fire. Uh, and if you haven't had an opportunity to check out those videos, and I highly recommend that you do, uh, you can visit the YouTube channel. I'm sure I'll have some links down here for you guys to click on to get to that channel. Uh, but within those videos, I had promised that I would do some brief tutorials on how to sideload apps, how to do manual installs of the firmware updates, which is what we're going to do uh, in this particular video. Now, uh, there's actually two different ways that you can do a manual install on the Kindle Fire. You can download the install file directly to your computer, then you can connect your Kindle Fire to your computer via a micro USB cord, which you do have to buy uh, separately. Or there's actually an app that you can pick up in the Amazon App Store that's free uh, that allows you to essentially do the manual install without ever having to connect your computer uh, to your Kindle Fire at all. So I'm going to show you both methods uh, of how to do that. Now, if you're not very technically proficient, uh, don't worry about it. Amazon will automatically push these updates out to you uh, eventually over the air, so to speak, uh, over your Wi-Fi. Uh, but if you're like me, when you get very impatient, when you know there's a brand new firmware update that's just waiting for you and it hasn't come over the air yet, um, this is for folks who want to go ahead and just do the manual install themselves and not wait for the uh, over-the-air uh, update. So within this video, we'll cover both methods uh, and uh, go from there. Now, if you have any questions, uh, you can certainly email me directly at Dana at simulatedboredom.com, or of course you can leave a little comment or question uh, in the video section down there. Uh, but without further ado, we'll go ahead and get started on how to do a manual update on the uh, Amazon Kindle Fire. All right, well, first things first is you want to determine which firmware update that you currently have. So to do that, you would just simply go to Quick Settings, More, scroll down to where it says Device, and when it pops up, you'll be able to see there where it says um, system version, just a couple of lines down. Uh, my current version is 6.2.1. Uh, so that way I can determine whether or not I have the older firmware update uh, because Amazon may have already automatically pushed it out to my device. Uh, but if I see that I have an older firmware uh, version and I know that there's a new one available, then this is the way that I can determine uh, whether or not I need the new update. All right, so the first method we're going to try is by uh, manually doing the update through your computer. So this is going to involve you downloading the install file. You're going to connect your Kindle Fire to your computer via a micro USB cord. Uh, it does not come with the Kindle Fire, the micro USB cord, but uh, anybody with a smartphone probably has one, or you can just simply run to Best Buy uh, or Radio Shack and pick one up uh, pretty cheap. But uh, what it does is basically when you plug it in, it's just going to turn your Kindle Fire into essentially an external hard drive so that you can access the files on your Kindle Fire. Uh, so in this particular example, what we're going to do is um, there's two different methods. Now, obviously, you're going to find a lot of websites that are going to have the download file on stimulated boredom. I had actually included the download file uh, on an update that I had done on the website, but you can also go to Amazon.com and you can just simply search in Google, um, you know, Kindle Fire software update, uh, and it'll generally take you to the appropriate page, and you can actually see a download link right here. Uh, also on my site, if you happen to follow stimulatedboredom.com, you'd find the download link here. All you do is just simply click on it, and it's automatically going to uh, download to your downloads file. Now, I already downloaded it, uh, but if I were to hit save, it would download to my downloads file. And then from there, uh, you can also, if you're on the Kindle site, uh, you can see some of the updates, the release notes relating to the update, uh, what's going to be included. Uh, and you can also confirm which uh, system version is available versus the one that you checked earlier by going into your quick settings, hitting more, uh, hitting device, and then looking at which firmware update you currently have uh, on your device. So from here, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you, once you have it connected via USB, uh, how to do the update uh, for your Fire. Okay, from this point, what you've already done is downloaded uh, the file for the install for the new firmware update, whether you got it from the Amazon website or you found it through a tech website like stimulatedboredom.com and downloaded the file directly to your computer. When it downloads, which it does do it automatically, it'll download to your downloads file on your computer. So from this point, what you want to have done is uh, have connected your Kindle Fire to your computer via a micro USB cord. Now, as I mentioned previously, uh, a micro USB cord did not come with the Kindle Fire, so you either need to run to the store and purchase one, or the vast majority of smartphones these days uh, come with a micro USB cord. In fact, I'm connecting my Kindle Fire to my computer via the micro USB cord that came with my HTC Evo, which is my smartphone. So once it's connected, you'll see that it's going to install some device drivers for the Kindle Fire. That just takes a moment. And then what you want to do is you want to swipe and unlock the device uh, so that it can be read by your computer. Once you swipe and unlock the device on the Kindle Fire, uh, you'll get this dialog box that pops up here. Now, as you can see, I can see open folder to view files. 
when I open it up, now you'll see all of my different files that are on my Kindle Fire uh, itself. Now what I would want to do is from this point, I would actually go into my Downloads folder. And you can see that I have the update right here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to find a file uh, on my Kindle Fire that says uh, Kindle Updates, as you can see it right here. And what you're going to do is you're going to take that install file and you're going to stick it into the Kindle Updates folder. Once you've done that transfer, you'll now be able to disconnect your Kindle Fire from your computer, go into uh, the quick settings, go to more, go to device, and now you'll be able to see an option that says update your fire uh, because you put the appropriate uh, update file uh, into that folder so that you can update uh, your Kindle Fire, which I'm going to show you guys that uh, in just a moment. Okay, now that we've added the update file to the appropriate folder on the Kindle Fire, the uh, Kindle Updates folder that you found when you connected it to your computer, uh, you'll now see when you go to Quick Settings, More, and then go to Device, where it says System Version, there's a box next to it that says Update Your Kindle. Now normally that's grayed out if you don't have a brand new update, but because we put the update manually into the appropriate folder, uh, it is no longer grayed out and you can actually hit where it says Update Your Kindle. Now I'm not going to do that because I already have uh, the newest update, so there's no reason for me to reinstall it again. Um, but that's basically it in terms of manually installing. You download it uh, to your computer, connect your Kindle Fire to your computer via a micro USB cord, uh, put that update uh, file into your Kindle Updates folder on the Kindle Fire itself, and then when you go to the Quick Settings, go to More, go to Device, uh, where it says system version, you'll now see that where it says update your Kindle is no longer grayed out and you can go and hit that and what it'll do is do the install. So it'll probably power up and down a couple of times while it installs the new update, but for all intents and purposes, uh, you have now manually updated uh, your Kindle Fire. Now that's the first way to do it which is connecting your Kindle Fire directly to your computer. Uh, the next way that I'm going to show you guys is how to do it if you don't have a, a micro USB cord. Uh, there's actually a file manager program that you can pick up in the uh, Amazon uh, App Store that will allow you to do this update um, without having to physically connect uh, to your computer, which I'm going to show you guys that now. All right, so the second method that I'm going to go into is how you can update your Kindle Fire uh, manually without connecting it to your computer via a micro USB cord if you uh, happen to not have a micro USB cord or don't want to spend the money uh, to go buy one. So there is a way for you to actually do that through the Kindle Fire itself without ever having to connect it to the computer. So I'm just using the example from stimulatedboredom.com, but you can actually uh, download the update link through your Kindle Fire through the Silk browser itself. So if I were on my Kindle Fire, and I'm just showing it on uh, the screen capture here so you're not getting that glare uh, from the video of the Kindle Fire that I was doing earlier. Uh, but if you navigate to the site, whether it's Amazon site or whether it's another tech site that has the download file, if you navigate there using your Silk browser on the Kindle Fire, you can click on this link right here and it will actually download directly to your Kindle Fire. Now the only caveat is that the download file does not go into the appropriate folder on your Kindle Fire. It goes into your Kindle Fire, but it does not automatically save into the Kindle Updates folder that you need to place this file into in order to be able to do the update. So if you're on your Silk browser, you would actually navigate um, to the site that has the download link. You can click on that link, download it directly to your Kindle Fire. And the app that you want to grab is called ES File Explorer. It is free on the Amazon App Store. And what it is is basically a file management program that allows you to have uh, access to the file folders on your Kindle Fire without having to connect it to a computer. So if you just simply go into the app section on your uh, Kindle Fire and uh, type in ES File Explorer, you'll find it there in the App Store. Uh, download it for free. And then in the next video here, what I'm going to do is actually actually show you how you would um, transfer uh, the downloaded file that you downloaded directly to your Kindle Fire um, through your Silk browser and how to move it into the Kindle Updates folder uh, without having to connect it to a computer via a micro USB uh, cord. Okay, so the last thing that I'm going to show you guys is now that you have downloaded the install file directly to your Kindle Fire. Now keep in mind this is the second method. This is if you do not have a micro USB cord uh, to connect directly to your computer like I showed you in the first method. Um, this is if you have navigated through your uh, Silk browser to uh, either the Amazon site or to a tech site that had the download file. Let's say for instance you went to stimulatedboredom.com and you went to the blog post that I had that had the update. 
don't know if you can clearly see that as I kind of pinch the zoom where it says download. Uh, you probably can't see that very well. Uh, but there is a section that says download Kindle Fire firmware update like I showed you guys previously. If I were to click that in the Silk browser, it would actually save directly to my Kindle Fire. Uh, but as I mentioned previously, the only issue is it does not save to the appropriate file. It still has to be moved to the Kindle Updates folder that could be found on your Kindle Fire. So what you would do at this point is if you've already downloaded the ES File Manager, which I referenced earlier, and launched that, now you'll see uh, the different folders that you have available on your Kindle Fire, but right here is actually where the download file went to, so it did not go into the Kindle Fire uh, Updates folder. What I would do is just simply long press uh, on that, and I apologize that you guys probably can't see that very clearly because of the camera, uh, but you'll see that there's an option to copy, and then if I were to go to the Kindle Updates folder, open that up, down here it allows me to pull up my clipboard, eventually and then you'll see that I have um, the option here so if I click on what I've just copied it should now give me the option to paste it'll take a moment because uh, this particular file is almost a gig and then from that point you should see if you back out and go back into Kindle updates you should now see that the uh, install file is now in the appropriate folder uh, so again, you're in the home screen, you'll see that the uh, file that you downloaded through your Silk browser um, downloads onto the Kindle Fire but not into the appropriate folder. Just long press, uh, copy, go into the appropriate folder which is called Kindle Updates. Then you'll see there's a, a navigation down here that allows you to click it, hit paste, and you can paste it directly into the folder. And I'm, I apologize again that that's kind of hard to see. Maybe that's a little bit clearer. Uh, now from this point, I'm able to go back into, let me go back to the home screen, I can go into uh, the quick settings, more, uh, device, and here again you'll see that this is highlighted, update your Kindle. Before you stuck it in that update, uh, the Kindle updates folder, uh, this would be grayed out. Now that you've copied and pasted it through the ES File Manager app without ever having to connect it to your computer, uh, now you'll see that you have the option to update your Kindle. All right, well, there you have it. That is how you can manually uh, update your Kindle Fire's firmware uh, version if you wanted to do that. Now, uh, as mentioned, you can either connect it to your computer with a micro USB cord, or you can get the ES File Manager app through the Amazon App Store, which is free, uh, which um, both allow you to move the download file into the appropriate folder. Keep in mind that it must be moved to the Kindle Updates folder um, that is found on your Kindle Fire in order for it to update itself. Uh, so whether you do it through your computer and you move it from your Downloads folder into the Kindle Fire Updates folder, Folder on the Kindle Fire when it's connected, or if you use the ES File Manager app, uh, you still have to copy and paste it into the appropriate folder uh, for the update to occur, but that's how you do the manual update. Now, if you have any questions, you can certainly email me directly at Dana at stimulatedboredom.com. Uh, uh, I'll have some future tutorials that are going to be coming up, so feel free to shoot me an email if there's um, you know some videos that you'd like me to shoot for you, uh, whether it's sideloading apps or how to move other ebooks onto the, um, the Kindle Fire and so forth like that. But uh, again, I know the videos might have been all over the place. Um, I won't know until after I'm done editing, but hopefully it made sense to you guys. But again, if you have any questions, certainly feel free to contact me directly. Uh, hopefully you, uh, you enjoyed this tutorial and that it was helpful. And if it wasn't, then, you know, I don't know what else to do for you people. So thanks again for watching. Have a great one.